Hi, this is Darius Zangane. Today I'm going to spend some time showing you how to create an IP multipath group or IPMP group uh, for a network configuration. IPMP allows you to have multiple NICs basically teamed together on the appliance itself. Uh, there's lots of different uh, networking settings you can create on the box. Uh, we support uh, VLAN tagging, virtual NICs, IB partitions, as well as LACP aggregation. Uh, in our case, <clears throat> we're going to be doing something called IPMP or IP multipathing. It's part of Solaris. Uh, if you're a Solaris guy, you're probably familiar with it, but it's basically just like NIC teaming on any other server. So you can have multiple NICs within an IPMP group, have them active, uh, standby. Uh, it's up to you. And they can be different speeds as well. So you can have, uh, say, uh, 10 gig is active, and you could have your 1 gig link be a standby. Uh, that's also an option with IPMP groups. So uh, the first thing you do, and there's two types of IPMP groups. Um, there's probe-based and then link state-based. We're going to do link state. That just means if the link's down, it'll fail over. A um, couple things you need to set up. One, if you go to configuration and then services uh, down here, you'll see IPMP under system settings. And just you want to make sure it's online. Uh, you can change, this is how long before it detects, so 10 milli 10,000 milliseconds. You could lower that if you want to. Uh, and also if you want to automatically fill back or not, you can control that. Uh, those are the default standings, settings there. Uh, the next step, and oh yeah, just from a documentation standpoint, if you click the uh, inline help, uh, you can go right in here, and it's uh, context sensitive. So I was on the network page, so it pulled me to the network. And if I click IPMP, uh, you can read all about it. It tells you the difference between probe-based and link state-based, um, those sort of settings. And uh, there's also, it's documented in here as well how to set this up, but I'm going to show you right now. So the way we're going to do it today, because all most of my links are being used, we're going to create some virtual NICs. Uh, so first thing we'll do is... Uh, click on the plus for a new data link and we're going to say let's create a virtual NIC and uh, let's do it on IGB2 and we're going to call this IPMP link 1 and we will click apply and there it is right there and let's add one more IPMP link two. And this one will use IGB two. Okay, we have those two links. I'm going to click apply to add that into the group. Okay, those are now active. The next thing I am going to do is uh, create a couple of, and I'm using link state, rep, um, and so when you use link, uh, and this is in the documentation as well, but um, all you do, link one, there we go. And you give it an address for these initial IPMP links. You give it an address of 0, .0, .0 slash 8. And I'm going to say don't allow administration. So that's the first one. Let's create one more. Let's call this IPMP link 2. We'll click apply, and apply again. I like to click apply on each basic step I do just to not give the system too many things to do at once. It seems to be a little bit smoother than to give it 20 things. You're not sitting there waiting, watching the hourglass. You can do it all at once, but I just like to do it this way myself. So now i got those two links. The next step is to actually create the IPMP interface. So we'll click the plus. You come in here. Yeah. 
and I already have one I'm using oh, let's call it IPMP1 and here again you can give it an address I'm going to just give it one that I know it's not being used anywhere um, and then you see there's no data links available because I'm already using them all but if I click IPMP group it's going to pull up those IPMP link 1 and 2 I'm going to make them both active and hit apply. And there you go. So here's the IPMP group. If you click it, uh, you'll notice this too. This happens with all the links. It'll show you what this interface is composed of. If you actually click on any of these things. So, uh, you know, this IPMP group is composed of these two interfaces, the 0.0 ones that we created, those then link back to these VNICs, VNIC1 and VNIC2 we created, which are linked to these physical data links, which link back to these physical devices. Uh, so you can kind of see that sort of map through. Um, uh, you see here's the IPMP link. If you wanted to, you could create another default static route. Uh, Normally, by default, it's going to create one for that subnet uh, already. You can see it down here, 192.168.2.0. Uh, it's using that gateway that IPI just created. But you could create it. So if you had another gateway on this network, you could create that as well uh, by just coming here and clicking plus and doing a default gateway there as well. So that is it for creating an IPMP group. Again, if you have other questions, uh, the online help is context-sensitive and would help answer any of those questions you have. Thanks so much. Have a great day.